My name is Dr. Maha Golistana. Um, I'm a career entrepreneur, a techie, a researcher, and a multi-content author. I only like doing meaningful things, and I like to do them with hyperdrive. I founded Gilo because I'm obsessed with productivity, and I want to make a mega impact, especially among young professionals from emerging markets. Why do I care? AI is completely transforming the world. And I worry those with less access to meaningful information and solutions to create those meaningful solutions, information can be left behind. Our startup, Guido Technologies, wants to bring peace of mind to the knowledge worker, the researcher, and graduate student who must perform relentlessly under pressure and make well-informed decisions in an increasingly complex and uncertain world. Gilo is not a proofreader. What does Gilo stand for? Gilo stands for garbage in, logic out. So you might think, oh my gosh, my content is garbage. Not at all. It's just that a lot of content in a research or a heavy um, complex industry or a um, technical world really must be curated. It must be also very delicately um, credible. So why we say we're different from the others is that we are really about operating in a different space where we provide you logical fallacy detection. We look at your logical structure and basically restructure your content. We are able to look at plagiarized content from AI. We correct your numer numerical anomalies. We give you definitions for building your uh, evidence and your logic. We give you definitions from credible authors. Um, we give you citations and quotes from these various authors. Uh, so we've kind of sourced all the credible sources in not only in academia, but in business and tech. We create abstracts so we can summarize your text. We can give you visual models of what your text is about. When you're a reader and a writer, you can actually do both. So it's not about just looking at the logic from a writer perspective, but from a reader. What if you detect bullshit? Yeah, our tool can help you do that. And as a reader, you want to be informed. We also help you with productivity where auto suggestion of key terms. And we help you with basically searching through our whole entire database. Let me show you what um, a screenshot of how the user interface looks. So basically we are able to come here, look at your, um, uh, you, you're here, you are in different modes. You can figure out what kinds of um, definitions, citations that you want. You can get access to that. You can, like I said, look at your logical structure your logical fallacious um, arguments, that means manipulative arguments. Um, we can generate text for you and we can look at the analytics and much more. You can be on a review and revision mode for this. Let's, for example, see logical fallacies. We have a text here. We were able to identify um, whether um, a person wrote um, a fallacious argument in a, um, a financial uh, document. We can then tell you based on 50 types of fallacies, whether you've written um, a, a logical fallacy. We can give you an example, for example, unsubstantiated certainty on the sidebar. Then we can um, correct it. And then from there, we can give you a explanation of what is ale um, alleged certainty. Why do I care? Why does this matter to me? So it does this across the board with other kinds of issues. So we detect it, we correct it, 
we give you explanations and we give you examples of why. This is for the correction side of our recommendation engine, but on our um, and our evidence-based side, we give you explain, uh, we give you definitions and citations and so forth, and you can even download those. The, the benefits are numerous. If you look at it, we really, again, want to focus on uh, persuading your audience with logic. We want to help you become kind of a subject matter expert in various fields. So our disciplines are, um, we help you with your vocabulary across these fields. We are able to give you um, source material exactly in your field because we know exactly what you're writing about. We can enhance your um, readership and readability of your content so you look like you have a higher English proficiency. We help you also overcome things like analysis by paralysis or when you're facing a blank screen, we help you kind of just overcome it and write faster and meet your deadlines. Um, we help you not just go to one source. A lot of people end up going when they have to write very content-based work that's very difficult, meaningful to them. They have to go use a um, dictionary. They have to use online dictionary. They have to use a content generator. They have to use a... Um, a grammar tool, we just say, come to us one stop shop. Our target, our opportunity is huge. Why? Because like I said, we are looking um, to help all markets to read and um, be able to write very meaningful content and to do it a lot faster. So our global native and non-native English speakers um, at a conservative estimate of paid subscribers, we can make up to 283 million euros. At a very optimistic estimate, assuming that we grab everyone, it's 1.5 billion. Our team, well, we were founded in 2020 and our team is very tech centric, but we're also entrepreneurs. And we are um, all writers as well. So Bill Immen is our board advisor. He actually invented the text disambiguation. So he was the forerunner of NLP, NLU, which is natural language processing and understanding. So he really understands this field. He guided us along the way and helped us build some tricks that are beyond just AI. Our uh, uh, founder, co-founder, Urban Loopers, he is a NLP specialist and AI engineer. He is also a multi-content author. Um, Fabian is a full stack developer. He's had his own startups and he's a career entrepreneur. He has his own software company. We have software engineers, we have investors, but our team is small enough that we are really, we believe if you know what you're doing, you can do it a lot faster than hiring out. So what we're trying to do with our, um, <clears throat> now we're in terms of traction and milestones, we're ready, uh, uh, technology readiness level of five. We launched our demo last month and we're in the process of copyright protecting our source code and our processes in the EU, EU and the US. We collected 5,000 people on our waiting list and it keeps growing. And we are conducting 12 pilot studies across Europe and Africa in 2023, starting February. And we're also negotiating with Deloitte to become our first corporate client. <clears throat> we joined an accelerator in the summer in Italy with a Finnish accelerator called Exedu. And we attended various conferences where we are constantly increasing our ecosystem. We've raised just last month 30,000, which is not speaking for much, but you know, growth is growth. And we're pitching to angel networks and VCs to scale our business. And I want to thank you, Max, for having me on today. I really appreciate you giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Um, let Gilo fix your logic, invest in Gilo.